And we're back with another episode of Before You Buy, that show where we give you some straight-up gameplay and our first impressions of the latest games releasing. And today we're talking about Left Alive. Just some quick first impressions here. A lot of people were asking about this one, and to be honest, personally, I had my eye on it for a while. It seemed like a great idea. It's a spin-off game from the Front Mission universe, complete with Wanzer mechs and fictional regions, uh, adding in a dash of Metal Gear Solid style elements and aesthetics. Uh, it looked stylish from afar, plus it had the character design and art from the famous Metal Gear Solid artist Yoji Shinkawa. Hello? Hello? Hello, Yoji Shinkawa? I mean, come on, a stealth on the battlefield mixed with jumping into giant mechs? The pieces were in place here. I really wanted to like this game, but frankly, I'm just not into it. The quality isn't there, it, it feels rough around the edges, and ultimately, despite some good, ambitious ideas, it's just kind of boring to play. I, I, I just personally felt bored, but let's get into it. Left Alive is out for Steam and PS4. This footage recorded is running on a PS4 Pro. Basically, there's a conflict between two fictional European-style nations, and the story revolves around three different characters you play as caught in the middle of the battle, and essentially every mission you switch and, and play as each of them. There's the rookie pilot slash soldier Mikhail, there's police captain Olga, and Leonid, who's uh, kind of a badass dude on the run out for revenge for being framed. Uh, there are dialogue choices, there are betrayals, and death dastardly villains, it does a lot to build out the universe and attempts to get you to care about the characters and what they're doing. And honestly, I think this is the best part of the game. I like the decisions that you make, I like that after missions it tells you what decision you made. They seem to have different effects on things, and you know, I just found myself interested. It's all distinctly Japanese too. It reminds me of just like a Japanese PS2 or early PS3 action adventure game, in terms of style and just how it comes across, like the vibe. As goofy as it can be at certain times, I do kind of enjoy watching the story unfold. But when it comes to playing through it, uh, that's where it really loses me, because gameplay is where things also feel old, but way more unfortunately, like, like PS2 or PS3. Controls are mapped awkwardly, characters move stiff as a board, and stick to cover like super glue, or awkwardly not at all, and it's really frustrating. Animations for a lot of things like sliding just look completely unfinished. You navigate these open environments, stealthily sneaking around in a crouched position, unfortunately very slowly, while avoiding guards that are just really inconsistent. Uh, avoidance is more important than engaging them, this game definitely wants you not to just shoot everyone, but either way, the guards are super unpredictable. Sometimes they are absolutely dumb as rocks, while other times they can see you from a mile away. There isn't too much in the way of stealth killing in certain scenarios either, so the game relies on survival crafting elements and baiting and trapping and tricking your enemies. This idea, this concept, I really like. You pick up crafting components in the world and put stuff together to create throwable bombs and molotovs, uh, sensors to detect enemies, even though you'll still get screwed over by them randomly showing up with no warning anyway, uh, explosive traps, and uh, then of course healing items. Uh, this survival crafting stuff from the obtuse feel of navigating through menus to the equipment like body armor you put on feels a little bit like Metal Gear Survive. It's not very user friendly and you just have rows and rows and rows of stuff. But at the very least, I like that it feels like you're an outgunned guerrilla fighter scraping together stuff just to throw off an enemy or two. You feel desperate, you feel like you're surviving in a battlefield, you're not just gunning your way through it, and you feel <laughs> left alive. I don't know. But the actual encounters are not that fun. Gunplay, like a lot of the other control elements, just feels clunky and unintuitive and outdated. Enemies are absolute bullet sponges and that might frustrate some people. Like I said, the game really isn't about shooting though, but still, it should feel good when you do have to do it. The guards are often alerted instantly and start shooting and then, you know, you only have 10 bullets. Most of the time the option is to just run away and hide and that works fairly well, but between like rolling and sliding to dodge bullets as you're running away or just running past enemies, it just feels easily exploitable. At one point, I panicked and ran through an entire level dodging guards as they all shot at me, and I made it to where I needed to go and triggered a checkpoint for the next part. It just feels cheap and rough. Also, the game's AI companion technology constantly tells you an enemy is approaching in like a robotic voice literally any time you're near an enemy, which is pretty much all the time. It's really, really annoying and grating, and I can't believe they left this in the game. But regardless, gameplay-wise, it's really all about trial and error. It feels old school in that regard, and I don't, I don't mind that at all. You know, some might not be happy about the checkpoint system. I've seen some people complain. It is pretty rough, and often when you fail or die, you 
lose a lot of time trying something again. Sometimes upwards of like 10, 15 minutes, especially because your character, like I said, moves so slowly. It can just all feel tedious at times. But on the flip side, I gotta admit, I thought the challenge was kind of nice and refreshing. But throwing a can and hoping a guard will stare at it for a while while you slowly, tediously crouch walk by just bored me because enemies are so uninteresting and, and, and cheap feeling. It is really ambitious though in one regard. The game is ambitious here. Large environments that are open to sneak through that are also being patrolled by giant mechs, uh, the Wanzers. Some of which you can just commandeer and steal and then basically it becomes a mech game. The mechs are okay. Kind of fun to blow stuff up and experiment with the weapons I and mean, the way you can dash and move, but they don't really have a lot of punch or feel behind them. In terms of feedback the game gives you, be it audio or visual cues, it actually feels kind of unfinished at times here. It works it's fine I just I don't, I don't really know how much fun I have here I like the idea but the execution just isn't as fun which is surprising because some of the environments look really really cool I mean up close they're not so hot the textures are often really simple and sometimes proportions of things look weird but the concept of bombed out cities and fires and Christmas lights and snow and dark bunkers and dirty slums look cool from afar and the music is pretty kick-ass especially when the action kicks up. If you can't tell, like I said, I, I really wish I liked this one more. The story and aesthetics are really cool. You can enjoy it for that, uh, but I, I just felt not all there for me. I like the mechs, you know, and the connection to Front Mission. I, I like a story that tries to be cool and fun. Uh, I love Yoji Shinkawa's art. I love the Front Mission connections, but I just don't enjoy playing it at all. That's it, really. I don't need to dunk on it anymore. It could technically, technically be a worse game, but the fact that I'm just not having that fun with it, or I'm just kind of bored, that's all I really need to say here. That's like the, dam the damage is done for me. But of course, this is a before you buy, you know? I give you pros, cons, but a lot of personal opinion as well. So now I definitely wanna hear yours down in the comments. If you're into this, I wanna know why. I'm, I'm happy for you. Like, I think this game, you know, maybe we'll find an audience with more hardcore front mission people that can forgive some of the, you know, shortcomings. But still, I'm not feeling it. I am also curious, maybe you bought it on Steam, maybe you got a refund, maybe you're playing on PS4. If you're disappointed or if you're into it, we wanna hear from you guys down in the comments. And if you did enjoy this and learned something, clicking the like button is the best way you can help us out. We would really appreciate that. But hey, I gotta say that if you're new, you should consider subscribing too, because we put out videos every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.